Hey YouTube, welcome back to Synchro Tools. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about a new compact drill driver and impact driver kit from Metabo HPT. So let's go ahead and get into that on Tinker with Tools. All right, so as I mentioned, this is the kit we're gonna be talking about from Metabo HPT. I like to think this is their new compact kit where you're gonna be getting a compact drill driver and a compact impact driver but they're not actually titling it that. They're just calling it their brushless set. The drill driver is going to be giving you 620 inch pounds of torque. It goes up to 2000 RPMs. It does have a half inch all metal chuck. So performance wise, this is coming in more at that 18 volt drill driver that they've had out for quite some time. But size wise, it's actually pretty close to that of the subcompact offering. Yes, it might be a little bit beefier, but the performance benefit you're getting from that, I think warrants the little bit different size. And as it compares to other compact offerings on the market, it is right there. Now the impact driver, once again, is going to get a bump in performance. This has 1,549 inch pounds of torque, 3,100 RPMs and 3,400 impacts per minute, which is going to be superior performance to that of that subcompact model that we've had previously. Most recently, they've actually been bundling the old 18 volt triple hammer with that kind of mid-tier drill driver or hammer drill. Now this, even in its old state, is a much superior impact driver to this. It has more features, more power, everything is a more premium impact driver. But if what you're trying to replace is that subcompact option, then this really is a benefit to go up and get a little bit more performance out of it. So, as I started looking at where I thought this kind of fitted in or what some of its competition was, there was a kit that we've actually reviewed on the channel that seemed to make a lot of sense in my opinion. And that's gonna be the compact kit from Flex that we reviewed roughly a month or two ago. Size wise and performance wise compares pretty favorably to this. The drill drivers are going to be of roughly similar size and roughly similar performance specs. The impact driver, it kind of is a little bit of a mixed bag. Metabo HPT impact driver is going to be a little bit smaller, but the flex is going to be a little bit more potent and does kind of gain some speed settings that this one doesn't have. So what we're going to do today is I want to actually do some performance testing between these two options just to kind of see what we're going to be getting. And then we're going to come back and talk about the conclusions and if I can recommend buying this kit or if you're better off spending your money elsewhere. So let's go ahead and get right to the testing.
All right, so when I go into the performance testing, I usually have an idea of where I think a tool might fare and what I think it might compare favorably to. And I have to say, this time is probably the time when I have been least surprised by where a tool ends up because it really performed just about how I thought it would in my mind. When I start talking about the performance of the drill driver, this drill driver does feel really good. It does have a pretty, it does have an overall pretty solid feel to it. I really do like the chuck. I like that they went with a more premium filling chuck than what a lot of mid-tier or compact offerings do when they normally will just go ahead and put kind of a plasticky chuck on there. This is definitely a, a much better option in my opinion and a really great upgrade from maybe that subcompact offering. Performance wise, those 620 inch pounds of torque, it really does feel like that's roughly where it is. Um, I can't say that it felt like it was underpowered compared to the Flex. The Flex is rated for 650 inch pounds, for example. Uh, power and speed wise, it does feel a little bit faster of a drill. Those 200 extra RPMs that this one has uh, can be felt in my opinion. The batteries in my opinion are a nice upgrade from where the batteries were previously, gaining the battery gauge and just overall it's a nice modernization of the battery. So overall with the drill driver, I think where it ended up performance wise is roughly where I'd expect it. Now the impact driver, if I'm being honest with you, I was not too high on the performance specs of this tool and a couple other things. It is a very basic impact driver and there's not necessarily anything wrong with that inherently, but if it doesn't necessarily offer something that sets it apart from the rest of the lineup, I kind of fail to see the reason for it existing. This is not actually that much smaller than the old triple hammer model. It has less power. It doesn't have any speed features. They still haven't put a quick insert call up on their impact drivers. And those little things just kind of start to stand out when the performance doesn't really back up what the tool is all about. Because they have such a very similar sized impact driver that they're offering typically at a very low cost anyway, it just seems like it would have made more sense including this impact driver or a slightly revised model of it in this tool and given us something that is a little bit nicer. That's where I think my problem with this impact driver is. Now, performance wise, I was not expecting a lot out of it and I have to say that it actually fared pretty well. Neither one of these impact drivers, in my opinion, is going to be the best impact driver out there, but in the size and price category that they're in, you know, you can do okay. The biggest thing with compact impact drivers is typically speaking, the more premium impact drivers are going to be smaller and offer better performance. And in the case of Metabo HPT, they have impact drivers that are smaller, you know, you do have that triple hammer, uh, the new triple hammer bolt um, is a smaller impact driver. The old one is a little bit larger, but these both offer better performance. And like I said, you can go out and get yourself that triple hammer for $79.97 at my local Lowe's right now. Now as a kit together, I do think it is a pretty decent value. Overall, the build quality feels pretty good and it feels like a nice tool. It was nice to use. I don't really have any complaints about it in that way. And I think that is a testament to Metabo HPT putting a good tool out there. Um, as it compares to the Flex, which one would I tell you to spend your money on? Well, if this kit is going to be $149 on sale, I think that is the more intriguing price for me. And with them, both of them, you're gonna be getting a lifetime warranty. So with either of them, you do have kind of extended warranty options and I do think that that is appealing. So there you have it. That is this Metabo HPT kit. Honestly, I do think it is a pretty decent kit for the price you're paying for it. I just don't know if it goes back up to that $200 price, if I'd recommend it as much as I might other options in that price range. But for the 149 sale price, I think it's a great option if you do like Team Green. If you're going to be into that Metabo HPT, this is a nice upgrade for some of their older options. So there you have it. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions about these tools we tested tonight or any other tools, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. We'll try and get to them when we can. I appreciate your support. And until next time, I'll catch you on Tinker with Tools.